Target Con, oh my god, you guys get what you wanted to get? Let's get right into it. Target Con 2020, y'all. Don't get no sideways. Don't get no sideways. You know the vibe. Don't get no sideways. Regular business back to it in the mix with your Funko fix. Doggy. What's happening, everybody? How everybody doing? Hope everybody faring okay today and got a chance to grab everything they wanted to grab and tuck into their collection. You know how we give it up on this channel. Collect what you like. And damn what everybody else talk about because we don't hear him over here. You hear? Him? We don't hear him over here. You know why? Because we too busy collecting over here, guys. What's happening, everybody? Yeah, back to it, man. Target Con. Target Con was actually like this 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 trip around, man. You know what I'm saying? Like the pre prior uh Target Cons was a little more active, a little more, you know, more pops to get. You know, you had to scramble around. Jump from this target, that target. This was like the first target on a target con that I went to, and they had every target exclusive did. You know what I'm saying? Like the walls was filled with target stuff. So, it, you know, that just go to show me, you know what I'm saying? Like they mass producing these items, man. So, you know, it brings me back to saying, is it a good cop? You know what I'm saying? I know the hype, chasing the hype to grab all the new pops when they first drop. But at the end of the day, is it really necessary? Especially when the demand for Funkos is so high now, where Funko is actually mass producing these items. It doesn't leave it any room for you to like see any growth in the item. You know what I'm saying? It would only depreciate as it further, you know, as time goes further along, you know what I'm saying, with depreciating value, you won't see no significant value in pops that's mass produced, and that's just the bottom line, so with that said, you know, you have to actually be a fan of that actual pop, you know what I'm saying, to actually buy it and stuff like that, me personally, I'm starting to like condense a lot of the buying, and you know what I'm saying, not only is it more expensive, but you have to be smart and collecting, you know what I'm saying, it's, and there's a lot more other things you could focus your bread on, you know what I'm saying, other than what's new, what's hot, you know what I'm saying, and keeping up with the, with the, with the, with the rush and the adrenaline, you know what I'm saying, it feels good, you know, be the first to post certain things and stuff like that, but at the end of the day, how many of them people actually gonna return them items? I know I might be one of them. I'm gonna keep it real on this channel. You know what I'm saying? I, I purchased something and I just might return it after I do a video. And that's just how real it is because at the end of the day, I ain't, I'm not gonna get stuck with a pop that I spent close to $30 for. And um, it depreciates with value. And then with everybody wanting to be a reseller these days, you know, certain people might list it for. Ten dollars, you don't know, and then that automatically sets the the bar at ten dollars. Anything above ten dollars is shunned upon. But uh, in any event, we're gonna get right into it, man. Target Con, definitely dope. 
You know what I mean? I hope you guys, like I said, got a chance to grab anything you guys wanted to grab and tuck it in your collection. Hopefully down the line it look like something. You know what I'm saying? But uh, I had to stick to my guns, man. I, I, I went off course a little bit. And I went against my better judgment and bought a, uh, the 10 inch Kool Aid, man, because it did look kind of cool. And I wanted to do it out of boxing with it and compare it to the other uh, Kool Aid Mans and stuff like that, measure it up and stuff. So, you know, that's why I copped it. But I will return it. Kept the receipt. Man, hell with that, man. I like, come on, man. I'm not, I'm not getting stuck like that. Not no more, man. I'm like. I'm a little more seasoned for that now, you know what I'm saying? But in any event, I can't tell you guys what to do with your collection. But I'm just giving you an insight on what I'm doing with mine, you know what I'm saying? So, after this video, I will be returning that one. And uh, using that 30 to shoot the uh, GameStop. And pick up that two-pack uh, Sasuke versus uh, whoever it is. Uh, that two-pack. Snatch that up real quick. And that pays for that. You know what I'm saying? So I got a video out of it. And I got the return and grab something that I didn't have. You know what I'm saying? That I will probably keep or, you know, trade bait. You know, a little more. You're going to see some profit on that two-pack Naruto uh, joint. You know what I'm saying? It's already selling... For $100 on Macari and eBay, you know what I'm saying? It's already janking. Look, I'll show you right here. So, you know, it's a no-brainer, man. You know what I mean? But, uh, yeah, let's get let's get right into it, man. So, today, I end up grabbing the Flock. The Flock Garfield, guys. Sorry about that glare. The Flock Garfield. Definitely dope pop. I'm sure after a couple of weeks or whatever... You know, secondary market, it probably wouldn't even look that much because, you know, a lot of people going to grab it and list it. So, you know, but it's dope. You know what I'm saying? It's going in my personal collection, so I'm not worrying about selling it. Less, I mean, no time soon, rather. You know what I mean? And if it goes, it'll probably go on a trade or something. So we're going to open this up, look at this. And I also grabbed... Um, Lucky to grab this guy. Seen this guy up there at my game stop. Went to the game stop two stopped in on him. And um seen this guy here, Mr. Owl. So Mr. Owl was initially uh listed on uh the Funko pop-up shop with Funko uh exclusive sticker. Supposed to be here. And um I guess what they worked out with GameStop, you know what I'm saying they get uh, GameStop gets most of the exclusives that they couldn't sell out in stock and stuff like that. And they, you know, so I don't know why they ain't leave the, the Funko Shop stick on there. Or at least put a GameStop stick on it. You know what I'm saying? It came without a GameStop sticker. Which is kind of messed up, but it's still dope. And I'm glad to grab it and have it in collection. Add Icon. You know, Add Icons is very popular amongst the uh, Funko community. And, um, what more can I say? Mr. Owl, man, how many licks does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop, y'all? If anybody could comment on the bottom of my uh, comments right down there somewhere, if you could comment how many licks it takes to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop, man, I will give you a grill out of my collection. You heard me, right? A grill out of my collection. But you know what? That's not valid because nobody knows how many licks it takes to get to Tootsie Roll Pop. You know what I'm saying? To the center of the Tootsie Roll Pop. Nobody ever. I, I can't even remember anybody ever giving an estimation. Nothing that Guinness Book of World Records. None of that. So I don't think nobody knows on this planet. But in any event, yeah, we got that. I also grabbed this. Took it out the box already. I had to, man. This shit looked crazy. Master Splinter, they kill Splinter off and comic books and all that. So, yeah, had to grab my Master Splinter. All right, we got Master Splinter here. And I guess what everybody came to see is this big, crazy Kool Aid Man pop. And we're going to look at this joint out of the box and on the spinner. You know how we give it up on this channel. And uh, we're going to get right into it, man. 
All right, guys, man, I'm going to leave y'all to it. It's been fun. This is all I got for y'all today, you know what I'm saying? I might post something a little later. It depends. I'm waiting on a few things to come from uh, UPS and all that, so... If the right things hit at the right time, I'll definitely will put a video up tonight. So put up, put on your notifications, man. Turn them things on. Turn that bell on. You know what I'm saying? Just click that bell so you're aware and you know what's going on with Doggy. Because, you know, I'm a little sporadic, man. It's not it's not no set time for Doggy to just post video. And I apologize, guys, if you guys be, you know, laying in the cup for Doggy to post up. I apologize, man. I might miss a day or two. You know what I'm saying? I'm running around. I got other obligations, you know. But for the most part, you know, put your notifications on, man. It's nothing. It's light, man. Do that for doggy one time. You know what I'm saying? All right, guys, man. I'm going to leave y'all to it, man. Have a good one. Stay safe. Stay sucker free. And you know what we promote on this channel, guys? Collect what you like. And damn what everybody else is talking about. We don't hear him over here. You hear him? You hear him? We don't hear him over here. You know why? Cause we too busy collecting over here, guys. All right, peace. We gonna bust this joint right open. See what it look like. We gonna undes this joint, undead stock this joint. See what it look like. Looks like this pack is pretty decent. I grabbed the best box I could grab. All of them look crispy, so yeah, this is crispy. Thank God, right? <laughs> Uh, I'd have been a little pissed off. It was crunched up. But, um, yeah, dope hop, man. Look, we got the flock Garfield. Look how beautiful Garfield looking at the box, y'all. And you know what we do, man, on this chair, man. We're going to take this out of the box and look at it on the spinner, guys. Garfield. Score. Thumbnail. Thumbnail. Wait, let me get a thumbnail for you guys. Let me get a little thumbnail real quick before I cut out. Get a little quick thumbnail, man. Bear with me. Now we look at the t-shirt. See what the t-shirt looking like. You know how t-shirts normally come. Classic. Undies. Undies. And we got a t-shirt. We got Garfield Lasagna. Look at that. Garfield always loves lasagna too, so that's Garfield shit right there. Alright, guys, you know what it is. Regular business back to the mix with your Funko Fix doggy. We out. Peace. Guys, man, I know I said I might return this, but looking at this pop out of the box, man, yo, this is a mean pop right here. This is a mean pop right here. I ain't gonna hold you, man. This shit, no. I, look, man. Come on, how many pops can you do this with, man? Come on, man. <laughs> like dead ass, man. Like on, on, on Funko Bros channel, when when the guys had comedy, he gonna holler without and make it a cup. I don't know how tasty the drink, the beverage will be after doing that, but uh, I think I'll pass on that one. But uh, it's definitely grapple, like grappable. You know what I'm saying? Like you grapple this, you run around, little pimp cup. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like nah, man, this is dope ass pop right here. So yeah, man, I think I might keep this one. This one might stay in the personal right here. This this look kind of mean. Them ice cubes look real as hell, man. Man, look at this pop, guys. Look at the ice cubes on it. Anybody thirsty? Anybody thirsty? Anybody need glass? Yeah, I got you. I can invite all my friends over now. I got all the Kool-Aid I need. Cheers. Well, for all the people that bought this pop and actually looking at this pop in hand, man, I know you know exactly what I'm talking about, guys. 
Some people won't understand it. Some people will get it. But, uh, yeah, man, dope pop, man. Glad to have the collection. I'm still contemplating whether I'm going to get rid of this guy or hold on to it. But, uh, you guys leave a comment down below, man. What are your feelings on it, man? What do you think? Alright guys, lead to Holiday guys, Doc Holiday. I told you, man, I'm on my, I'm on my Tombstone wave. Tombstone wave is mean right there. I'm definitely on my Tombstone wave. And um, we gonna look at this joint out of the box. It's on the spinner. Tombstone guys, you know what it is. Doc Holiday. And this was actually the scene when he did the ten cup, the the ten cup. I put a little caption right here, a little caption, some little pictures, something. Mind you guys, if you haven't seen it, you know what I mean? Where him and Ringo Starr kind of, you know, had a little standoff, a little, little, you know, it was about to get messy, it was about to get real messy, but Doc Holliday using his uh, people skills, you know, being the, the OG that he is, man, maneuvered around that whole situation and turned it into a comical situation. And um, that's one of the main reasons why I rock with Doc Holliday. Not only was he his, was he like one of the illest gunslingers of that time, but son used his mind, man. He used his mind to disarm people, you know what I'm saying? And son was a beast, son was loyal. Son fought to the very end for his friend, you know what I'm saying? Wild Earth, you know what I'm saying? He didn't let him go down with uh, because he knew he couldn't take Ringo Starr. Son stepped up and he was down from tuberculosis. Official tissue dude, man. This movie has a lot of significance in it. And, um, you know, sometimes you gotta dissect movies, man, and see it for what it really is, man. The meanings behind it. It ain't just cinema and theatrics and all that. Sometimes it has a lot of, you know, survival things in there, man. Keys to get you, you know, through in life. But, uh, nonetheless, man. Dope pop, we gonna look at out of the box on spinner guys. You know how we give it up on this channel. <laughs> 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 <laughs>